2015 for a friend's wedding. Um, I, I was just going to put it together for that, really. So I contacted um, friends of mine, Pete Lizowicz, who I hadn't played with for so long but always wanted to play with again. Uh, my cousin Phil, who's always been my stalwart drummer. And um, I had recently jammed with M Burroughs, who I thought would be great to have in a band. And um, Phil Bradley, who I'd admired for some time. Um, so really, I was just putting my ideal band together for, for the gig. Uh, and then uh, Phil, after the gig, Phil Bradley said, well, we're not just going to leave it at the wedding, are we? We're going to sort of carry on and um, do some gigs. So um, the, the, the gauntlet was dropped and um, we looked for some gigs. And we got a few and we were still playing. So um, I'm as happy as Larry, really. This is probably one of the best bands I've been in to date. And uh, we do a lot of um, songs that I really like. And we're actually writing some originals now, so that's even better. I mean, I wrote a song called Fool for the Band and, and that's me, you know, and I'm just a fool for the band. I'm not in it for the money, not in it for the chicks, although I used to be. But um, I'm just in it for the music and the, and the playing and mainly just for the band. I mean, the band is the, the most important part of, um, of uh, what, what I do, you know. It's, it's, um, if the band's not happy, I'm not happy and so far so good. <laughs> first played with in 1977 or 78 in a band called the West Coast Rhythm Kings. It was the, uh, a band that he put together after they had 
he had the uh, Kingpins, which were, were a band that did really well in Perth as far as blues goes. Um, and they disbanded and he wanted to keep going. So he put uh, the West Coast Rhythm Kings together with um, various members of the Kingpins and myself. Pete was just great. Uh, in those days, he, he was the main singer in the band and, uh, and the bass player, of course, and got a great voice. Um, uh, I'd like him to sing more in this band, but, uh, but he doesn't want to. He wants to concentrate on his bass playing. Pete's songwriting is amazing too. Um, uh, the song that he sings on the video is one that he wrote, and we're doing that song now, which goes over so well. Um, but uh, Pete's more... Um, has been more lately into sort of more punk, um, you know, coming from a blues background and, and, and playing punk and psychedelic music over the m more recent years. But the, the combination of, of that knowledge and, and the blues influence just makes for amazing songs and, and uh, we'll be doing some more of his stuff for sure. <laughs> Bradley, um, I'd always wanted to play with since I saw him play first in the Mutants of Desire. Um, he's a great rhythm guitar player um, and I was looking for more of a rhythm guitar player because I, I'd been playing in bands with two guitar players for so long um, that it, it kind of stifles what I wanted to do a bit. I mean, I wanted to sort of step out and, and, and show what I could do a bit more. So having a guitar player that's um, more of a rhythm player and can play lead was what I was looking for. So I really needed, uh, I really liked the fact that uh, Phil was the, the guy that would fit that. I knew he would fit that perfectly and he has. Um, he's also a good songwriter. The song that he plays on the video is one that he wrote with a riff that I'd borrowed and he was able to write great lyrics to it. And he's also played in bands like the Jackals and Sub Truck and Brutus, so he's got great credentials and he's a very talented and, um, you know, solid player, you know, I'm, I was looking for people that really knew their craft and, and Phil certainly is one of them, yeah. <laughs>
my blues cousin, Phil Riseborough. We call ourselves the blues cousins because we are actually biological cousins. Our mothers were sisters. Um, and uh, we'd go way back, way back, you know, like we were infants together, basically. Um, and uh, we, our interest in music sort of happened at the same time. It was actually around the time of the Beatles, of course. Um, and I quite often uh, affectionately um, think of Phil as, as, as my Ringo star, basically. And uh, he probably is known mainly for playing in a band called Twice Shy. Solid, dependable. I just love the way he plays, actually, and always have. He loves playing with Pete Lizowich and vice versa. You know, they, they just lay down a solid, a solid um, backing, really, for everybody else to ride on. And then with, the, with Phil Bradley in there as well, he becomes part of the rhythm section as well, which is just fantastic, yeah. tight. <laughs> Baby, or babe, shall I say babe or baby, um, M. Burroughs. Uh, she's just gorgeous, you know, like um, sings great, uh, plays great keyboards. I love her organ playing. And she um, has been in bands called Flower Drums, Mobius, uh, Llama's Tide. I knew her background was more into folk rock and prog rock and psychedelia. But um, I was very good friends with her parents, so um, I knew that she'd had a great upbringing musically and would know um, some soul and some blues. I kind of had an inkling she'd be great, and she certainly has fulfilled that. Oh, what you doing, baby? Don't you know it ain't right? I wonder what you doing that it takes all night. Oh, little by little, said I'm losing you, I can tell.
bands I've been in, some of which were the Hips, um, uh, the Jaywalkers, um, going back years, the Sneakers. I mean, I was interested in harmonica as a kid, you know, I used to muck around a bit, but I hadn't really made my mind up to be a harmonica player until I think I was about 21. Just sort of fell in love with the blues, Chicago blues initially with Sonny Boy Williamson, Sonny Boy Williamson II, Junior Wells, Little Walter, of course. And from there, I just learnt as much as I could about their stuff. I'm still developing what I do. I'm in my 60s now and I'm, I'm sort of writing for the harp and I've never done that before. I'm just excited to be able to um, sit down with an idea and develop it into a song. I've never done that before and uh, it's because of this band that I'm doing it, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the uh, Big Town Players. On the stage right, we have uh, Phil Bradley on the guitar. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Phil Bradley. Pete Lizowicz on the bass guitar. Little cousin on the drums here, Phil, Phil Riseborough on the drums. And the lovely Emily Burrows on the keyboards, ladies and gentlemen, please. My name's Howie Smallman. 